Welcome back to the Happy Huddle News, a positive news story series from New Tampa Players Penguin Project. I'm Maggie Gamson. I am Zach Bimulo. Big doll. And today we're going to talk about baseball. I love playing baseball. Did you know that Tampa's first baseball team was founded in 1878? No, I didn't. At the time, Tampa had less than 700 residents, but it had its own team. Lopez was from Tampa. Yes, he was. Al Lopez was a professional baseball player, manager, and Hall of Fame inductee from Tampa. His childhood home was in Ybor City, and we met up with Wes Singletary, a baseball historian, and learned a little bit about Al Lopez. Then when I went to graduate school in history, I kind of made it my work. Uh, I wrote a master's thesis and a doctoral dissertation on Al Lopez that later turned into my first book. And uh, the house that the, and this is always the great thing to me, the house that the museum is in is the house that Al Lopez grew up in. And it wasn't just that Al lived there when he was a kid. Al Lopez went off to the big leagues. Well, let me back up. He went off to, into minor league baseball. He left Tampa in 1927, going to Jacksonville. He played two years with, with Tampa Smokers, then went to Jacksonville, went to Macon, went to Atlanta before he made it to the big leagues. And that was all back 1928, 29. He would return home every winter and live there at his house on 12th Street, Nebor City. Mr. Singletary also told us about Tampa's minor league and inter-social leagues. So Tampa baseball is incredible. I'm not sure there's another city outside of maybe Mobile, Alabama, that has this kind of history. A lot of people grew up playing ball around Cascaden Park, uh, and the Intersocial League played their games here. Usually it was on Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I read an article one time uh, on the, the Intersocial League 1943 season, and I did that because I was doing a term paper in grad school on baseball during World War II. And what you ended up having is you had former soldiers, you had guys working at the shipyards, as well as the Air Force Base, and then you had all the local guys that were there. Back then it was an Air Force, it was Army Air Corps. But ever, you had all the local guys playing in the Intersocial League. And the Intersocial League, I don't know how familiar you are with it, but all of the all of the uh, social clubs in Ybor City had a team. So, you, you know, uh, Centro Turiano would have a team. Uh, the, uh, the Cuban club would have a team. The Italian club would have a team. Then there was a team called the Loyal Knights. And a lot of really good players played in that league. I mean, Charlie Cuellar made it to the big leagues, and he was in that league in 1943. Uh, Bitsy Mott made it to the big leagues, and he was in that league in 1943, as well as guys like Lou Pinella Sr., uh, Joe Magadan, who's Lou Pinella Sr.'s brother-in-law, and both of their sons played in the big league. Lou Pinella, who's going to be in the Hall of Fame, and, uh, and David Magadan, who played with the New York Mets, uh, with an incredible hitter. I think Maginan is still the uh, hitting coach with maybe with the Boston Red Sox. I'm not sure. But their fathers were in the Intersocial League. So you had this very competitive league made up of professional ball players who were all home in Tampa working in the shipyards if they weren't already in the service. And uh, they, they just kept playing ball right through the war. Thank you. Wes, you can learn more about baseball in Tampa and the baseball museum. The Tampa Baseball Museum is located in Al Lopez's childhood home and will open this summer. For more information, go to www.tampabaseballmuseum.org. I am Zach William Mirlo Bedow. And I'm Maggie Gamson. And thank you for watching Happy Huddle News. Keep smiling and share this segment on your social media to keep the positivity going.